Hi there, YouTube. So it's Horror by Marilyn, and I'm Marilyn. And we have another review for you. This one is Deathgasm. And um, I wanted to actually show you my shirt. Wearing the boyfriend shirt today. <laughs> Just wanted to show you that. Okay, so this film got 87% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a Jason Lee Howden film, and it was filmed in Auckland, New Zealand, and Mar on March 14th, 2015. Yeah, starring Milo Cawthorn, James Blake, and Kimberly Crossman. So, Milo is Brody. Brody's mother is institutionalized and has to move in with his very religious aunt and uncle. Spoiler alert! And Brody's a metal fan. So how's that going to work? That's, he moved into a very unhappy situation. This is a uh, religious aunt and uncle, and uh, his death metal ways just don't mix. So Brody is also bullied at school by his own cousin. And his friends, two role-playing nerds, the trio one time gets sprayed by piss, there's, they got these squirt guns full of piss and squirt them all over <laughs> with them. That's, um... Then comes in Zack. Zack is cool. He once stabbed a kid with a compass needle and got expelled. Brody is enamored with him when he meets him at a record store. So what do they decide to do? Form a death metal band. Deathgasm. All capitals. So there's a love story going on, too. Brody loves Medina. Medina asks him out for ice cream, and they have a wonderful conversation. Zach is a badass and decides to pull a B&E on this washed-up musician named Ricky Daggers. They find him holding a record album, and they try to steal it, and they are caught by Daggers. But then someone's in the house, and he gives the record to them and tells them to run. We see, him get, we see Daggers get his throat slashed really graphically. And the man who killed him ends up getting beheaded twice. That will make sense when you watch it. So Brody sees that there is sheet music hidden in the record. The band plays a song. The lights begin to flicker. Brody's Uncle Albert, who starts to bleed from the eyes. And they stop playing before they finish the song. So Brody translates the song in Latin to the Black Hymn. Play it to invoke the demon. Brody gets beaten up really badly for Medina by his cousin. All the while, Zack is making a play for Medina. He is given a note to give to Brody, but he doesn't give it to him. He goes to meet her instead after reading the note. And she puts on his jacket and they kiss. Brody decides to use the dark powders, powers for revenge. The band plays the hymn and everyone falls down. After waking, they know it's a change. And there's a scene where this teacher starts. It looks like he's farting, but then he starts bleeding from his ass. All his blood just starts jutting down. And uh, he throws up on a girl's face. And he doesn't just do it once. It's not just for a little bit. It's like, okay, stop. You know, I mean, it's, it's a good scene. So Zack's father tears out his own eyes and tries to kill them, but he fails and is killed instead. So Dion and Gillies are attacked, but saved by Medina, who uses an axe to split the minion's head in half. They hide in a panic room and leave a note on Brody's door to inform him of their whereabouts. Zack and Brody see a fortune teller, Abigail. She says that they invoked the demon de Luloth, the blind one, by playing the hem. And the town is now possessed by Aeolos minions, which will kill every human being to prepare for Aeolos' return at 3 p.m. Aeolos will emerge with the most evil present being present, but before she could tell them how to stop it, she is killed by two of the minions. So Zack cowards out and decides that playing the hem backwards, Brody decides that playing the hem backwards will help, so then Zack agrees to help. But Zack takes the note off the, that his friends left off the door before Brody can have a look at it. So while they're looking for sheet music, Auntie and Uncle come out, and the, they're minions, and they attack. 
but they die after a long fight involving anal beads and a dildo and a chainsaw. But I think the anal beads and the dildo is the funnier part. <laughs> that is a death you've got to see. So Brody's cousin isn't a minion, but Brody kills him anyway. And they need amplifiers for the music. So they go to the school and they see Brody's friends. But uh, then Brody sees Zach's jacket in Medina's bag. And him and Zach fight. Brody gets really badly beaten on this end, on his end. And Zach leaves town. So they go to Ricky Dacker's place for the amps. They meet the cult. Brody gives over the papers. The cult leader tears them up and takes them all captive. Zach changes his mind and returns to help his friends. Brody plays the hand backwards but doesn't do it in time. Zach is possessed after killing the cult leader. Brody uses the power of his own music for, to free Zach. And it works, but it's only temporary. Zach feels it even coming back. Zack asks Brody to kill him, and he does, and then the evil is gone. A few months later, Brody and Medina are a happy couple, and Brody is talking to Zack through a record player. Zack's spirit. I take it Zack lives on through a record now. So this had a kick-ass soundtrack. Nun Slaughter, Razor Wire, Bullet Belt. And uh, there, even though there was a lot of Trivium posters around, um, I don't believe there was any Trivium in the soundtrack, but it doesn't matter. It was good. So the scenery was really beautiful, and the cutaways resembled a Sam Raimi movie. So there was good makeup and good effects. Uh, the minions also resembled the Deadites from Evil Dead. But, yeah, the makeup and the effects were good. The humor was good. The one-liners were good. Death to false metal. <laughs> so it's about friendship it's about love it's about acceptance and it's about teamwork there are brutal and gory good scare scenes throughout this movie and it just grabs you it grabs you from the beginning and it holds on to you so I got nothing bad to say about this movie I've got going to give it 10 stars my first 10 star movie. So, Horror by Marilyn. I'm Marilyn. This was Deathgasm, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again for another review. Horror by Marilyn. Like and subscribe. Comment for any requests for reviews. Have yourselves a good one.